What is going on, guys? Paul Ryan back at it again. I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday night. Some unfortunate Cowboys news coming out a couple of hours ago. Chuma Idoga, potential left tackle, starting left tackle even, for the Dallas Cowboys, out for half the season with a significant toe injury, uh, as stated by Mike McCarthy. You hate to hear it, man. Uh, injuries are never fun, especially to players on your team, right? Regardless of how much you you do or don't like them, you hate to see a player lose their job because of injury or just you hate to see a player get hurt in general, right? That being said, positive spin coming out of this, at least Tyler Guyton, right? Now he's going to get those starting reps in training camp. He's going to get those reps against Micah, against Demarcus Lawrence, against Marshawn Nealon. Just getting those valuable reps, getting him geared for the season, and then not only just valuable reps in practice, right, but – getting meaningful reps in the games, which we saw how that helped Tyler Tyler Smith, his rookie season. So now I'm kind of, you know, looking at this offensive line. I know there's still question marks at center with either Brock Hoffman or Cooper Beebe. And I know even Tyler Guyton himself is a bit of a question mark, but you think about the size and athletic ability of him and Tyler Smith, both on the left side, Hard not to get excited, right? Again, the unknown is scary, but the uh, potential is very exciting to think about. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty, I don't want. I don't know if I should say major breaking news, but that's a kind of a big deal, right? Uh, you know, the left tackle being probably the second most important position in football, at least definitely top three, quarterback, defensive end, and then left tackle, right? Starting a rookie, man, can be a bit scary, but we drafted Tyler Guyton for a reason. I'm not sure if uh, Chuma Idoga really, I don't know, was had a chance to be the starter over Tyler Guyton. I'd imagine the athletic ability isn't even close to what Tyler Guyton has, right? Otherwise, I, don't, I can't see us investing first-round draft capital in him if we thought Chuma Idoga could be what we think Tyler Guyton could be. But uh, we will see, right? Um, again, it's exciting, but scary all, all at once. But I, uh, I can't wait to see it. I know uh, based on all the scouting reports I've seen from the uh, week one game against the Rams, when Tyler Guyton was out there, showed a lot of promise, looked good. Uh, don't Didn't really hear too much negative about him, so that was good as well. So now we get to see even more of him, and uh, now he'll, he'll get to grow and develop a little bit, maybe faster than the Cowboys had anticipated, maybe even wanted to. But... Sometimes that's a blessing in disguise. And also another offensive lineman that looked pretty good, apparently, that has looked good this offseason, but also looked good in Sunday's game against the Rams was Awesome Richards. I know Brian Broaddus was excited about what he saw from him. Um, I don't uh, know if he was, like, projecting him to be a starter on the line or anything, probably just a death piece. But knowing that he was playing well, um, I know a guy that we drafted in the Tyler Smith draft Cowboys do good about uh, developing offensive linemen. And apparently, I know uh, John Owning, who's like the defensive line specialist, he was uh, he hated to admit that Josh Ball, if you guys remember him from the 2021 draft, right, sixth-round pick, I believe he was, um, he even looked good. So who knows? Maybe we'll have some uh, more depth at offensive line than we had originally um, guessed going into this offseason. But – Again, you hate to hear about the injury to Chuma Idoga. Um, you know, I was uh, when I saw the saw the news, I tweeted at uh, Brendan, aka Fergie Smith, you know that his prayers had been answered, and I was doing that in jest, right? Because again, we never root for injuries, especially Brendan. He's like, I'm not sure he's ever wished anything bad upon anybody. You know, he talks, he'll talk smack if like somebody has a bad game, he'll say something, but. He's not the type of person who's going to wish an injury on, on a player, even an opposing player, right? But, uh, yeah, I was tweeting him, letting him know his prayers has been answered again, I'm just kind of joking around. And uh, he was even saying that, you know, he hates to see it be done this way, but, um, yeah, he's not a big fan of Chuma Adoga, just to say the least. So, um, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. I hope everybody's having a good night. I'm Paul Ryan, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.